centers in the area could be closing later on this year. State budget cuts are to blame for this one, and these closings could mean a slower response time if you have an emergency. Let's get the latest live from our Kate Wyda in southeast Austin. Kate, good morning. Good morning. Well, this is where the Capital Area Council of Governments is located, and they're in charge of 32 911 call centers. Later on today, they're actually going to decide how your call to 911 ends up being directed. Now, the plan is to save more than $800,000 by closing these eight call centers. We're talking about Lakeway, Lago Vista, Westlake Hills, Leander, Smithville, Luling, Elgin, and Taylor. And you can see these centers take between two and 15 calls per day. Now, the reason for these possible closings is because the Capital Area Council of Governments has to cut $5 million from its budget. Right now, they are funded from a monthly 50-cent fee you pay on your phone bill, whether that's from a landline or a cell phone. And while officials with the association say they have enough funds to keep all of the 911 call centers open, state lawmakers want to keep about 25% of those 50-cent fees for the next two years in order to help with the statewide budget shortfall. Now, so if you call a 911 call center in these areas, here's what's going to happen. Say you're in Lakeway. When you dial 911, it would go to the it's Austin an Travis so County 911 Center, and they would have to manually reroute the call to Lakeway PD, slowing down a response time. Last year, the call center in Lakeway answered roughly 5,000 911 calls. I think it's been a great benefit. It's been nice for us to be able to tell our community that when you dial 911, it comes right to us. Now, overall, while these call centers usually take less than 15 calls per day, you compare that with the Austin Travis County 911 Center, they take about 2,000 calls per day. Now, other areas that they're looking to make cuts in include new equipment because they still have to cut another $4 million from their budget. Of course, we'll keep you posted on what happens today with the closings. We're live in Southeast Austin, Kate Wydaw, KXAN, Austin News. All right, Kate.